In the 60s, when I started teaching at SARE, there were not that many kindergartens around. It was not required. Uh, it was a, a choice for people to send their uh, children to kindergarten. At that time, we had three kindergartens at SARE. So it was, uh, obviously we were doing something that was the right thing to do for these children. When I came back uh, in the 70s, it became very clear to us that the uh, old style of teaching, of having uh, the children together grouped around you, was not going to work. We had a classroom full of many different levels of abilities. So we came up with the idea of building a loft. We had limited space at this time, and the loft provided these areas where the kids could go and one group could be working on something in part of the loft, uh, another group in part of the uh, room, where uh, the teacher uh, could be working with a group one-on-one. -on -one. You introduced differentiation in the classroom before it became a buzzword mm. in education. Kitty, I'm really excited about our new building because I feel as though it's going to afford us the opportunity to continue the instruction that you started back in the 70s. The differentiation that we'll be able to do in our new facility will give us the opportunity to work with a whole class, to work with small group instruction, or for a child to go and do some individual work while we work with others in the classroom. As I listen to you, Barbara, I am hearing that many new programs have been introduced, a lot has changed, but to me, there is still the core that has not changed, and that is the child, our relationship to the children, our relationship to the parents. You know, Kitty, I think we both agree that Sayre School's kindergarten program is unique. Well, and how exciting it is to look forward to the new building. Absolutely.